Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today is going to be a little different. Today we're going to talk about me, something I normally don't do on this channel. Um, I try to make this channel about ideas, not the person presenting them. The story starts months ago, from what I understand, I think, before the election. Um, but I don't know the story's taking place yet. A non-government organization saw my content. They're like, we can use this. And uh, they started paying to have it run as like ads when people would search for something bad. When they would search for how to join a bad group or a militant group or when they would search for how to do something horrible. They would see my smiling face. They'd see that thumbnail. The idea, they click on it, they watch it, and uh, they get de-radicalized. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, now, over the years, I've gotten messages from some of you saying that, you know, you were on a bad road, and my videos helped get you off of it. And to me, those were the wins. That's what really mattered. Actually creating uh, some change there. So a couple months ago, when I find out this is happening, in a group that is dedicated to de-radicalizing people, find out they were using my content, man, I was uh, flattered. Very proud. A little taken aback at first because nobody had asked me <laughs> if they could use my content. But to be completely fair on this one, had they come to me and said, hey, this is what we're going to do, I would have said yes. I would have said yes. I think it's amazing. I think it's a great program. Um, I wanted to make a video about it then when I found out it was going on. But I couldn't made a tweet about it, but I couldn't make a video. Because in order for this to work, it has to at least somewhat appear organic. You know, if you were searching for something horrible and uh, my video helped get you off that road and you continued watching videos and then you stumbled across one that says, hey, that thing that happened to you, that was totally intended. You might feel tricked. It might undo the good that was done. So I couldn't talk about it as much as I wanted to. Couldn't make a video. I couldn't imagine anybody not wanting a program like that to succeed. I mean, it's amazing. The idea of using just ads and content that already exists to stop violence, to save lives. I don't see how that could be a bad thing. But apparently there are some. There are some. Because a whole bunch of information started getting pushed out about me. Now, I don't know. I don't want to assign a motive. I don't know if it was directed specifically at me or it was an attempt to delegitimize and undermine the program. I don't know which. And I don't really want to speculate. But... Uh, Information started getting pushed out about me. Some of it's silly. He plays up his accent. And we've talked about it. Sometimes I do. I did a whole lot in the beginning. Um, to stuff that isn't quite so silly. Everything from my past use of inflammatory rhetoric to everything I have ever done or been accused of and some stuff that I was never accused of, all got pushed out there. If you don't know, even though we've talked about it on the channel, 10 years ago, 12, 13, but a long time ago, I got busted for alien smuggling. I know, shock, right? I guess this was, uh, the idea was to paint it that this program shouldn't use people like me with that background. Which leads to the idea that the people who can reach 
those who are actively searching for how to do something violent are clean-cut people with no background. I don't know that that's true. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. It seems like there should be some kind of relatability. You know, If it was just clean-cut people talking about doing good and all of that stuff with a slightly paramilitary vibe that worked, well, we wouldn't have extremists. We'd have a whole bunch of people in the Boy Scouts. It's not the real world. I, I, I think there does need to be some kind of relatability. Um, now, if this push was aimed at me and getting me out of this program, congratulations, you won. My content is no longer being used for this. Okay. But to me, it's not about me. I don't care about dragging my name through the mud. Um, it's about that program. That program is still going. And it doesn't matter what your goal was, you're going to fail. I will still be right here making videos. I got messages from people who got off a bad road from my videos before this program ever started. I will get them after. That program, it will continue. And it will continue to do good. And even if you were able to undermine it, to the point that it stopped, 10 more would spring up in its place. Because there are enough people who are tired of the division, who are tired of the violence. And they will use whatever tools they have available to make it stop. And apparently, ads are a good way to do it. Didn't change anything on a long enough timeline, our side wins. Guaranteed. Now, if you were one of the ones who pushed this information out there for whatever reason, congratulations. You won. You succeeded in removing a tool to de-radicalize de people who were searching for how to do something violent. Remember that next time something horrible happens. I hope the clicks were worth it. I'll be right here. If you have any questions about my views on anything, I have 1,300 videos recorded over the last couple of years, and I will let my record speak for itself. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.